Welcome to the Dan Weldon 500 at Kansas City International Speedway. I'm JJ NASCAR, and this will be race number 29 of 36. Or should I say Dan Weldon 400, because as you know, since today is Tuesday, October 16, 2012, it has been the one year anniversary since Dan Weldon died in a 15 car pileup Indy car race at Las Vegas International Speedway. Um, as, you, as most of you guys know, uh, Dan Weldon, who was running in, uh, I believe, 24th or so, came into it was a 200 lap race around las vegas international speedway and these cars are going like 200 miles an hour and i think that's a bad idea 34 cars 200 laps 200 over 200 miles an hour on a one and a half mile oval that's bad but uh anyway as you as uh dan weldon was one of those cars who who went like slammed into the catch fence after he got off another car so um as you know, we are going to honor Dan Weldon on lap 11 of this 27-lap race at Kansas City. Um, as it's as it has been a month since I got the yeah, I've about, I've done a race, not the All Star. Um, here are the point standings. 3B Freaky One is our points leader. Uh, Max Skinner is 36 points behind the, the 78 coming into this race. Race day 2011 is third, 466 points behind. The NASCAR expert is fourth, 504 points behind. Fifth is John Dillon, 540 points. Sixth is Mac Love 999, 575 points. Seventh is the Yoshi 5, 714 points behind. Eighth is Autobot Awesomeness, 727 points behind. Se and uh, ninth is Race Racerville 74, 747 points behind. And tenth is Race D 24, 24, 783 points behind. Um, our, our poll sitter today is Connor Brighton in the 56, an outside beer and 14 fan. People who failed to qualify today are the 9 of Mr. iPhone Man 3, the Yoshi Eller 5, Autobot Awesomeness. I know 39 Ryan Newman fan is the 20, I'm sorry. Uh, the 24 of Race Indy, 24, 24, the 27 of Jordan Hamlin, the 77 of Jordan Ortiz, the 78 of 3B Freaky 1, and the 79 of Lego Boy 1624. So, um... Let's get this race started. And on lap 11, we're going to have a silent salute for Dan Weldon. So um, let's get this race started. Yeah. Connor Brighton has replaced uh, Seth Keen in the 56, by the way. Um, it's basically now all come down between the 78 and the 6. Actually, no, the 6 car, I, I've miscalculated. Since it's been uh, a month now, it's been Chase, em Chase Emerson is the 6 car. Because, um, I guess he got a computer now. But uh, Chase Emerson actually ha is has returned as the 6 car. The 26 is still Old Spice 671. But uh, Chase Emerson has replaced the 6 car. Co Green Flag's... Uh, Connor Brenton and Bjorn 14 fan leads to the start of this uh, 27 lap race. Green flag lap 1 of 27. Expecting a bump, some some fairly good racing. Racer Bill 74 in the 21 car, set ninth in the standings, trying to get trying to make up get some points. Uh, the sixth car, Chase Emerson, he currently starts in. Uh, where was it? I know he's somewhere in there. Seems like I can't seem to find him because my vision is not what it used to be. There's Chase Emerson. He started 21st. Everyone trying to make up their way as, great, as lap one will be led by the 56 car, I believe. No, oh, Racer Bill 74 led that lap. I'm sorry, but Racer Bill 74 in the 21 car, trying to get his first ever 2000, his ever Brickles Cup Series victory. And trying to get get some points since our po since our points leader did not qualify good today. This would be Racer Bill 74 bringing uh, Wood Wood uh, the the Wood Brothers its first ever Brickles Cup Series victory. Behind him is the 16 car of Daniel Reigns or Daniel Swearpants 13, and behind him we got uh, Connor Breton in the 56, and then the 36 of uh, Bjorn 14 fan and the 22. Of Travis Froster. So Racer Bill 74, seventh in the ninth in the standings, 747 points behind the 78 car. He's got a long way to go, 
and it's basically all down between the 78 or the 6. It's either one of them who's going to go, who's going to win the, uh, season two of the Burkles Cup series. Uh, the 14 car of uh, race day 2011, current, uh, currently third in the standings. He's 466 points behind the 78. And then we got the NASCAR expert in fourth and John Dillon fifth. John Dillon currently runs currently runs seventh today. Uh, NASCAR expert outside the top ten. Racerville 74, ninth in the standings, the race leader. Only about a second behind Daniel Reigns in the 16. 36 car BR and 14 fin trying to go to victory lane for the second time this year. Then we got uh, the 22 of Travis Froster, the 15 car Mac Love 999, and John Dillon has just passed Connor Brenton in the 56, a newcomer, by the way. So 21 car Mac Love 999 currently runs fifth. But looks, but Daniel Reigns gaining on that 21 car, not too far behind. But Racer Bell 74, trying to get, trying to pick up as many points as he can before the 16 will snag the lead away. As it seems Daniel Reigns will take the lead away from Racer Bell 74. But looks like great. Wow, Racer Bell 74 used the outside line as he will take the lead away from. Daniel Reigns and hold that lead as he will complete lap five. Buren 14 fin, not too far behind, only nine car lengths behind Racer Bell 74. What is that? Anyway, sorry about that. So, uh, battle for fourth, Travis Froster and Mac Love 999. Mac Love 999 currently sixth in the standings. Travis Froster, probably around 12th in the standings, because I do know for a fact that he was in the top 10 earlier, um, like round race 26 or something. So these, so he could actually get back into the top 10 if he gets a good finish. Uh, as as lap uh, six will be completed, Racer Bill 74 is the race leader with a uh, Mac with a uh, no, 16 car Daniel Reigns 13 in second, only four car lengths behind. And then we got Bjorn 14 fans sneaking up from sneaking up from the back in third place. And then we got in fourth is Travis Froster. Looks like battle oh battle for second, but looks like uh, Reigns will come out in front of the 36 car. Travis Froster fourth and Mac Love 999 fifth. 39 car Brian Thome. Brian Thome, yes, it's Brian Thome. He's sixth. The 56 of uh, Connor Breton, newcomer John Dillon, right behind him, and Joseph Clark in the two, right in ninth. And DJ Becker will complete the top ten. Second, second in the standings, uh, Chase Emerson running there, back there in about 22nd place, trying to trying to get up, get as many points as he can. He started 21st. Probably one, probably was one of the fastest in practice. Second and six, he's only 36 points behind uh, the 78 car, so he has to make up as much time as he can. And race day 2011 in the 14, currently third in the standings. He's currently running in 18th, only a couple spots in front. And he's and he's got and there's a huge gap separating the six and the 14. 430 points to be exact. Race day 2011, currently 17th. And the sixth car of Chase Emerson in uh, in 25th. So this is so this is really going to help the 14 car, but not the six. This is going to make the point standings closer, and it doesn't really need to be very close because race day 2011 is 400 is is 400 needs 431 points to get in front of the six car, and for that the six car can't can't qualify for the rest of the races. Or get or get really bad finishes, which most likely will not happen. The race day 2011 is trying to make up as much as he can. He's he currently runs in 17th, right, uh, battling uh, the 55 of Mark Edwards. That is for the 16th place, and and right in front of him in 15th is the 88 car of Jeff Gordon 5244088. CJ Sorensen and Sniper Pony 2427. Completing the completing 17th, 16th, 15th, and 14th, and 13th. Seth Cole currently running uh, right behind in front of them. Actually, in front of them, I'm sorry. 
Then we got the seven Kutztown Comet or Max Talbot. Currently running 11th, 10th, and DJ Becker is 10th. Basically, the rest the rest of the field hasn't really changed. Any no newcomers from uh, 10th or above. But it pairs Daniel Reigns has has led lap 10. Apparent oh crap oh apparently we're gonna have to uh I was so caught up in uh all this stuff I forgot that it was lap 11 but we're gonna have lap 12 be it because I'm so I'm sorry but I was too caught up. Alright, lap 11 is done. I'm, lap 12 I'm, I'm done. is done, I'm sorry. Uh, Daniel Reigns continues to pull out in front, trying to get his first 2012 victory. As appears, uh, BRN14 fan has taken second from Racer Bill 74. Map 999 currently running in uh, fourth place. Oh, one car. One car is JG24J87 is blown up. That is the end, that's the end of his day. Originally Logan Ryan, now it's JG24J87, which has to be replaced. Looks like uh, the one car's day will officially come to an end here on lap number 12. No, no caution yet, which, but uh, Daniel Reigns continues to uh, prevail with a one and a half second lead over uh, Bjorn 14 fan. Razor Bill 74 only at car link back, and then the 15 is 2.18 seconds back to the 16. Looks like Brian Thome now. This is a battle for the fourth place. As it looks like Racer Bowl 74 will, will uh, lose another spot to the 39. Looks like it will be next lap, though, because I know the 21 prevailed in front of the 39. He will hold that fourth place, but he will lose that spot right now. So, uh, Bjorn 14 fan has been having a fairly okay good year. Uh, the 36 team is actually uh, doing pretty good, like I said. But uh, try, but I don't think, uh, he, I forget where he is in uh, the top 10, but hopefully doing pretty good. He's not in the top 10. It looks like uh, Brian Thome will take is going to battle uh, the 15 car. That's for third. 36 goes high. This is going to give uh, the 21, the 39 a chance for two and three. Looks like there looks like tw looks like uh, the 15 and the 36 are, are the had the better line, and they, and uh, they will take two and three. As uh, Daniel Reigns two and a half over almost three seconds behind the thir the 16. And um, and pulling away. It's like now, wow, three almost three and a half seconds. It's very nice. Dang. So as these closing laps, uh, the final ten laps uh, remaining. Apparent. I'm guessing that. Uh, the third, the sixth will will get closer to the lead to the lead, but uh, race day 2011 will uh, get more points uh, to move them up to closer to second. And uh, Mac 999 sixth in the standings, 575 points behind. Uh, this is going to be pretty dip, uh, controversial because uh, for me because I know uh, she's currently running in uh, third place and John Dillon. Uh, tenth place. 
John Dillon is spe is a little bit. Uh, it's only like 35 points in front of the 15, but uh, the 15 car has been doing better. I'm gonna say the 15 will uh, take the fifth place winner from the 87, and uh, the 21 will take will take eighth. Race Indy 24-24 may fall out of the top 10. I'm not sure. But if Race Day 2011 wants to get to second and then to first, he's got to do, like, really good for the last uh, six races, I believe it is. Yeah, six races. We are on the final countdown to the final ten races of the Burkles Cup Series. And I may be able to finish by late November, maybe by Thanksgiving. 3B Freaky 1, remember, is the race leader, is the points leader, 36 points in front of Chase Emerson. Chase Emerson, there is our, there is our points leader, Chase Emerson, right now running in 29th place, getting caught in traffic. He's continuing to try and pull up. He started 21st, he's running 29th, or he looks like he will take 28th away. No, 27th away, I'm sorry. Just trying, just trying to make up as much points as he can, but this is probably going to get him closer. But Race Day 2011, who's currently running in third, run, third in the standings, running 11th in, the, in uh, the lead in the race right now. Race Day 2011, 466 points behind the 78 car, trying to, prevent, trying to get more points up so he can get to second. But remember, 431 points he needs. And he needs more than that if he wants to keep second. It's going to be really hard for him to uh, get a really good, get up to uh, second and then to first in the, in the last six races. 431 points in six races. Is that even possible? But either way, we are now down to six to go with uh, Daniel Reigns having a, a, a six-second lead over... Uh, BRN 14 fan, and then we got uh, race, Racer Bill 74 is falling back to fifth. Race, so, Race Day 2011, currently running, like I said, third, needs 431 points to get to second, and 467 points to get to the lead. And some of that stuff will be made up today. NASCAR expert, there he is, he's running, 30, he's running in 31st in the Rainex Chevy, and one of those new schemes. He's currently 504 points behind, uh, running fourth in the standings. Right, Actually right behind second place Chase Emerson as he will try and battle him for the 30th position. It seems like it has not been a good day for the 6 or the 31 as, it, as, Racer, as 3B Freaky 1's point lead see, will, will uh, most likely decrease, but it's not going to help the 6 or the 14 either. Well, the 14 it will help, but not the 6 car. It's probably going to make him lose points. Looks like the, that's a battle for 30. Looks like a battle for 31st. These two guys b both look like they're gonna have a bad day. John Dillon currently running 11th. He 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 will most likely uh, get get some points uh, more. Looks like he's gonna battle Connor Breton for the 10th place. He will snag 10th uh, away from the 56. Let's see, so uh, here we go. I have 24 of 27, four to go. Looks like uh, looks like uh, the 15 car, Map Love 999. She's really running that 16 down. She's now uh, 5.24 seconds uh, behind the 16. I'm not well. That can be done though. Can Daniel Squarepants 13 uh, keep that lead for the rest of the race? There's a very good chance he will. But uh, the 15 car seems like she's running her wheels down. So. Uh, yeah. So anyway, back to the point standings. Marshall Rich fails, did not show up today. He's been, he hasn't been making uh, appearances for a very long time now. I'm not sure why. As well as the 20 car, uh, 39 Ryan Newman fan. He did not appear either. And in 10th place, the 24 of Racing D2424, who fail, also failed to qualify. So two, so the people in the, in the, oh my god. So, pe so people in, uh, the chase or the top 10 who are currently in this race. Second in standings, third in standings, fourth in standings, fifth, sixth, and ninth. That's still that's still a little bit 
uh, more than uh, race 28. Race 28, the Austin Depot 400 Dover. That was definitely probably one of the best races of the entire season when Joseph Clark uh, let, had his engine let go and took out probably half the field in front of everyone. But anyways, it seems, looks like McLeod 999, her, her, uh, her, her seconds, uh, like her time behind the 16 is decreasing. She probably won't be able to go at four and a half seconds, well, probably four, 4.3 seconds in one lap. Not, may have been done here, you'll white flag one last lap at Kansas City. Daniel Squarepants 13, trying to, most likely going to get his first ever 2012 victory. May not have had a great season, but it looks like he will have a good stroke of luck. As Mac 999, 3.92 seconds behind. Probably won't catch him, but uh, she did she did do a pretty good run. Her and her brother, both both fourth and sixth in the standings. What separates them is the 87. Most likely, John Dillon will take fourth away. Race day 20 level will, pro, will progress. Hit in his run against the six. Out Daniel Daniel Reigns wins the Dan Weldon 400. Great job of the 16. Mackelove 99, 3.3 seconds. Probably may have had a couple more laps and she may have taken the lead. As it seems like third will go to Racer Bill 74 after having a pretty astonishing day. After almost dropping out of the top 10. Brian Thilm will, will finish fourth. Looks like the 22 fifth. Let's take a look. Our last person to finish, Cesar Hernandez, in 41st. Remember when the one car blew up on lap 12? He will. That's going to make one person out of the race. So, so Cesar Hernandez finished 41st, and now we have our official standings, and here they are. Okay, first through tenth. Eleventh through twentieth. Eleventh, twenty-first through thirtieth. Thirty-first through fortieth. Chase Emerson will finish thirty-second, probably probably gaining and losing. Forty-first and forty-second. Broken gearbox for the one car. That's pretty much it. This has been the Dan Walden four hundred at Kansas City or Kansas City Speedway. And um, here are your point standings now. And tune in, I believe it will be October 20th for race number 30. Wow, looks like this, uh, looks like race day 2011 got a better uh, jump than I thought. So, uh, looks like, wow, I didn't expect that that 30, I think it was 32nd place finish to count so much. Chase Emerson has now finally taken the lead away from 3B Freaky 1 and get a 31 point at start. So, so Chase Emerson, aka 5340 Emerson, is our is our new points leader now. But but 3B Freaky One can take that back in one in one race because it's only 31 points behind. In third is Race Day 2011, 355 points behind. In fourth is Mac Love 999, as they predicted, or someone I think 436 points behind. And only one point behind is John Dillon. Sixth is the NASCAR expert, 535 points behind. And it seems like the 15 and the 31 switched positions and John Dillon stayed there. In seventh is Racer Bill 74, went from ninth to seventh. Racer Bill 74 went from, went from ninth, 747 points behind, to seventh, 608 points behind. In, in eighth is Travis Froster, 742 points behind, who uh, I believe... Yeah, oh, he's a newcomer. He must that that finish must have ju jumped him. I think he was 12th in the standings or something like that. Anyway, Marshall Rich has dropped down from 7th to 9th and thir and 30 race race in D 24 24 has been knocked out of the top 10. And uh, anyway, 39 Ryan Newman fan is 10th, 758 points behind and like I said Marshall Rich is 9th, 745 points behind. So so like I said, this has been the Dan Wellen 400 Kansas City International Speedway and tune in on October 20th for race number 30 for race 31. Oh my god. See you. Bye.